ladies and gentlemen welcome to my youtube channel once again so if it is your first time joining me thank you so so much for taking time of your busy day to come to my channel and watch my video if it is not your first time joining me well then welcome back welcome back welcome back um so please continue to subscribe like and share the video and also tell your friends to tell their friends because the more we are the merrier so today is a monday is it yes i think I'd, I'd like to believe that today is a monday oh yes it is a monday i remember yesterday was easter yes so <laughs> so i hope that you guys have a productive week you know all the plans and goals that you want to achieve this week i hope you do achieve them and you stay motivated throughout the whole lockdown thingy and yeah so basically i'm actually making this video today because i am so upset I am upset because as you guys know there's a lot of femininity channels that are on YouTube currently some I'm subscribed to them I won't lie some I'm subscribed to them um, because like I always say I pride myself on being a feminine woman and so it's you know it's just like a community for other women who are still getting there or who are already there and you know things like that so um now there is one one channel in particular it is a femininity channel um by a woman obviously i won't say her name because i'm not here to i'm not here to promote her channel or anything but basically what she had said is that natural hair and braids on and cornrows they actually attract dusties when I say dusties, well, for those that don't know, dusties is broke men. She said that women that have natural hair, women that have um, braids on, and women that have cornrows, they actually cannot be able to attract men of um, afflu um, men of influence or um, affluent men because men like that don't like natural hair, and while i was still so shocked by her statement her being a black woman mind you while i was still so shocked about her statement then i saw you know there were women that were agreeing with her like oh my gosh yes i need to stop wearing braids i need to stop wearing my hair natural and i'm just like wow is this what we have come to like as women is this what we are willing to do now for the men because basically that's what she's saying she's saying we all now are supposed to be you know wearing weaves and straightening our hair so that um we can attract affluent uh, affluential men um affluent men or rich men basically because all women want financially stable men so it's like now for us to get there we have to all wear weaves I mean i understand that you know you have to you have to take care of yourself you have to be of a certain um class you have to carry yourself in a certain way obviously everything goes according to classes but now with regards to hair i just don't get what hair has to do with anything because you can be a classy woman and still have your natural hair you can be a classy woman and still prefer braiding your hair instead of uh you know getting weaves i for one i don't use weaves and that is not because well i don't use weaves because i like my natural hair um i braid it because it's hard to manage and then i don't use weaves because i just i don't like them you know they look good on people but to me i don't like them i've tried i don't like them so well according to this um feminine level up channel I cannot attract affluent men because I wear my natural hair and I braid my hair. And to me, it was just like, this is self-hate on, on another level. Because this is a black woman. She's got coarse hair like this, but she always has weaves. And I mean, that's her style. She likes wearing weaves, but for her to actually put down women that choose not to wear weaves, women that choose to you know be natural women that choose to have their hair short because she did say even short hair so basically what she was saying she was promoting that everyone should wear weaves and sometimes it's not even about affordability some people 
don't like weaves like myself i don't like them i don't like them i could get them if i wanted to but i choose not to wear them and i haven't actually had any problem with regards to attracting men that i want so for her to just um inflict that self-hate on us as black women to say that we must try to look like white women by straightening our hair and and you know wearing weaves to me that was very very um surprising and it was shocking for a level up page or for a level up channel because what she is meant to do or what these level up pages and channels are meant to do is to actually let women love being women love themselves the way that they are enhance where they think they want to enhance you know learn a few things from other women because obviously like i always say when we grow up most of the time we're just taught to be these strong independent women that we lose our femininity side so these channels are actually there to you know let us know that it is okay to be a woman it is okay to like pink it is okay to work a certain way it is okay to like certain music you know just be a woman and let a man be a man you know it has nothing to do with you know us and and telling us how you know our natural hair is is not good you know that type of, those type of women are the same women that are going to you know get on with caucasian men just so that their 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 ch their children have good hair because they think basically that this hair or natural black um, african hair is um is not attractive or natural black african hair is not um it doesn't attract men of certain caliber and then we're actually also speaking about this that you know even the women that bleach it's so many women that actually bleach their skin because they believe that for you to attract a certain type of man you should be a certain way you should be um you know they, they were saying that um most men um prefer light-skinned women you know most um, um influential men they prefer light-skinned women and i'm just like why are we setting our beauty standards based on men why are we setting our beauty standards based on what men want the thing is what we don't understand as women is men change men change all the time so if you're saying you're gonna bleach there was a time there was a time when um uh there was a time when light-skinned women yes it was always said that they are winning they're getting more men they're getting more attention and then also there was an era where uh dark-skinned women were getting all this buzz around them everyone wanted to be dark-skinned there were models that were even black fishing like making their skin darker because they because at the time that was what was selling or that was what that is what was the in thing so are you telling me that every time men change or generations generations of men change and they have a certain standard of beauty we are also going to change like why do we do that to ourselves i just i don't get it i don't get why do we feel the need to do everything change our appearances you know not care about what makes us feel good but do everything for the man actually especially in terms of our of our physical appearance yes i don't uh, i don't um dispute the fact that as a woman you have to look good you have to smell good you know you have to work out you have to look, look after your skin and things like that but i never said that is for men Yes, it might attract the men that you know you want, or but be, the the reason that it will attract the men that you want is because I feel that's what I believe. I think when you start actually taking care of yourself, right, you get more confidence. And what happens is once you have confidence, you you exude that confidence like out out well outwards basically that confident energy you actually you know um it goes out to the universe and everybody can see that you're confident that's why you find some women that you would think are not the prettiest women but because they have they've got so much confidence the way they walk because they know that they take care of themselves now it's like they're the prettiest women in the room because they take care of themselves um just like with things like working out you're not working out for anybody like you're working out for yourself you're working out to look good and to build up your confidence so i was so so shocked when a woman a black woman 
was telling other women that our hair is is ugly our hair is not because basically that's what she was saying that our our hair is 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 poverty basically she was saying that our hair attracts dusty men our hair attracts uh, broke men if we want to level up and if we want to attract rich men we should actually be straighten our hair all of us we should actually straighten our hair and i just i never understood i never understood it I, I really really didn't understand it and funny enough this woman this woman she is um married to a white uh, man she's married to a white man and she's got kids that have good hair and she always has um has weaves on because well now we know why she always have weaves on she has weaves on all the time because she believed that her hair is is ugly and it's so sad that you know there are some women that are still taking with these women they look so much they look up to someone so much that they actually don't even question the things that other other women say like uh how can you tell me that my hair is not good like how can you tell me that my hair is ugly they just take everything that this person is saying because they look up to this person so much and this person has such influence and this person is self-hating and making black women hate, hate themselves so i was i was so so shocked and i just didn't understand and okay fine i understand certain things like um as an adult you can be now having pink braids you know uh for a child that is fine you can be having green pink and orange braids all in one like you obviously you have to keep it classy have your black braids or blonde braids like whatever color that you want um that is closest to your natural hair yes that is fine but for you to say that everyone must be wearing weaves so now we must all be doppelgangers like all of us we must look the same just because we want rich men and to me it was actually the first time i've actually heard of that because what i've seen um because well basically she is about swirling what i've seen is most men caucasian men because well that's what she was you know that's what she believes in and that's what she stands for most men caucasian men rich men um even black um influential men they just as long as you are clean as long as you like being a woman as long as you embrace your feminine energy i don't think there's anything that actually stops a man from coming to you and approaching you your hair is the last thing obviously it has to be neat it has to be neat but that is the last thing that you can actually tell other women that they must change to attract men so now everybody must 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 have weaves on and then these swelling what like as i was saying in terms of swelling these caucasian men they love african black um hair they love african black hair like i i've 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 experienced this so so many times where you know a woman is is always wearing weaves but then as soon as she has her african kinky hair that's when she gets most attention from the caucasian guys and and it's just it's it, it just it baffles me it baffles me like that there's a woman that is black with hair like this and then he's gonna um, tell other women that we mustn't we must hide our hair and we must straighten our hair just so that we can be like white women because then that's how we're gonna attract you know rich men so that's the thing um you know i'd actually like you to you know um have a self-introspection look at yourself everything that you are doing are you doing it for yourself or are you doing to attract men or are you doing it because it's a standard of beauty at this time if you are bleaching your skin are you bleaching it because that's what you want that's really what you want you want to be light-skinned um or are you bleaching it because you believe that men like light-skinned women are you wearing weaves because that's what you like or maybe that's what society or that women like this woman that i'm talking about have made you believe that it's the good thing it's it's how you should be to attract certain kind of men so i'd really like us to have self introspections and even when it comes to these level up pages and these femininity pages that we follow just listen to what they are saying but also use your common sense and just 
think before you do something you can't have another woman telling you how to wear your hair so that you attract certain kind of men what is that and and for her to say that our hair and braids which is african which is an african thing is bad it attracts um broke men because according to me what attracts broke men is you as a person it all starts with you you can have the longest 32 inch weave but you could still attract broke men if you don't know your value if you're walking around like you are a lost puppy and you don't know where you're going so for her to say that braids um braids attract broke men that was just for me what it was so out of line and i was so shocked at that a, a, a page or uh you know a woman that is saying that she's all about women empowerment and leveling up can actually be speaking about something like this saying that women you know should change themselves so much if i like wearing my hair like this i should change it so much just to attract a man she's saying it's women empowerment but then she's actually saying stuff like that how is that empowering anybody how is that empowering women so that will be all for now if you have anything that you'd like to comment on a com you'd like to comment with regards to this topic or maybe if you know who i'm talking about because obviously i can't drop names here and stuff you can just you know if you have seen that post or something like that you can just comment on the comment section below and then i'll make sure to reply to all your comments i still love you guys so so much bye